What's up, Bahana Exotics? The lighting is really bad. Let me move you guys to this side. Today, we're gonna to be doing quite a few things, right? We're gonna be checking on all the animals that have been introduced together. We're gonna to be introducing the Cascables rattlesnakes. We're gonna be introducing the Western Diamondbacks rattlesnakes. And I'll explain to you guys why I'm actually going to be introducing the Western Diamondbacks. And I know it's controversial to what I said two, two videos back, but um, yeah, we're definitely gonna have a chat about that as well. So let's just go right into this. Oh! Don't leave after all the updates, because we're actually going to be feeding a few snakes as well. <laughs> so more often than not, I get asked why I actually breed what I breed. I mean, breeding corn snakes, breeding Taiwanese rat snakes, breeding ball pythons. All of these things are actually quite renowned and quite full up in this uh, market in South Africa. But the reason why I'm breeding these things is because I actually really want to. And my end goal, as a lot of you guys know, is to have an Ophiophagus hana, which is a king cobra. And for me, in order to have a king cobra and healthily look after a king cobra, I have to have snakes to feed that snake. Because, as the Latin name says, Ophiophagus hana, it means literally eating other snakes. So let's check out the female ball python. All right, now she is actually pretty deep in shed. Oh, sorry, mama. It means we should be having eggs pretty soon. I put it down to this smaller rack with a smaller tub to make her feel nice and compact and nice and secure. So she should be due for some babies very soon. And the father to her babies is this dude over here, which is the one you guys saw eating all the rabbits. Are you still hungry? No, no, no. All right, so, all right, so why are we actually going to be breeding up the Western Dalmac rattlesnake. So, <clears throat> I spoke to a bunch of my friends, got a bunch of different opinions in regards to if they're big enough to breed, and the general consensus of uh, the answers that I get from all my friends is that, well, they actually are, and I should stop being so nervous. I'm nervous about the male over here, not eating, but it's because this dude is full on ready to breed. So, I might as well give him a pair up and see what they do. And that female over there, she's definitely a lot bigger than what she wants. Well, than what she was when I got her. So, all in all, you know, it, it shouldn't be an issue for me to breed it. So we're gonna take that chance, we're gonna see how it goes. If they hit and miss, they hit and miss. If they breed, that's freaking amazing. So, let's feed the little corn, the ghost, striped ghost motley. Oh, he's very deep in shed. Oh no, oh no. This will be the first time we offer him food while he's in shade, so I don't know. He's a corn snake, though. Do you want this? Yeah, you kind of do. You don't want this. Alright. So, it seems like he kind of wants it, but... He also doesn't want to have it, so I'm not going to force it, I'm just going to let it be. We'll close him up, and then of course we already have something else that would more than relish that little fuzzy mouse over there, which is going to be the Bothriekas Schlegeli. Now this female has been putting on quite some size. She's a fantastic eater now, eating very consistent, no issues with her whatsoever. So let's just feed her a little doodle daddle. Here you go. It's for you. Why always when I say that the animal eats fantastic? They do this to me. Why are you doing this to me? Is it because the camera is so close to you? Shouldn't be an issue. Come go. Yeah, but just the other freaking week when I fed you, you were like, oh, shooting out of the enclosure for your meal. Now you're being an old lady like. Now oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, say. She just needed to realize that it's actually food. There you go, girlie. Enjoy that. Mm mm mm. All right, now I think without further ado, let's introduce the Cascables rattlesnakes. Now I am very nervous for this pairing, not because of what either either of the animal's health is, but because of the sheer size of this male that I have. Now with Cascable rattlesnakes, the males are quite a bit larger than the females. You guys will see just how big of a difference this actually makes. But um, <laughs> we're going to be putting in this Cascable rattlesnake with this really massive, massive Cascable rattlesnake male. So, let's get her out. Here's the Cascable Rattlesnake female. 
Not even nearly the size of what that male is. But she is, however, an adult. So we're going to be pairing him up. She's mature. She's doing good. She's in optimal condition. So I think she's ready to go in with the male. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you guys a bit. All right. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to film her, hold the camera, and watch them all together. If at any chance I feel a tad bit uncomfortable with what's going on, please know that I'm going to be putting you guys down so I can have all my attention on the current situation. So that's her over there looking beautiful. Let me just tap this nail, you know, make sure he knows there's not food coming in. Nice, all right. So let's take her and let's put her here in with the male and see just how this goes. All right, so immediately she is quieter. All right, now I am a tad bit nervous for this. But there you guys can see the clear size difference between the two of them. I mean, he's like four times her size. Not even exaggerating. But yeah, so these guys are actually live bears. So it'll be quite a while before we actually have babies if the pairing is successful. The male seems pretty relaxed. Doesn't seem to be wanting to fly out after her. So I guess it's just a waiting game now. Let me just close this up. And then of course you guys can expect an update as soon as there is something to update you about. All right, so let's feed the Vogels female. She's getting a tad bit chunky, so we're just giving her a little bit more of a leaner whoa. meal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so <laughs> that happened. Are you happy with that? Alright, so let's feed the Gumbrecht female. Now I know to you guys it probably feels like we're all over the show with this video. There's just so much going on. You know, I want to update you guys on everything that's going on and not waste your time doing one by one small little videos that just give bits by bits of information. So I'm trying to get as much information into one video for you all as I can. Alright, so now I think, you know, without further ado, let's introduce the Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes. So let's get this male out of here. He's already producing sperm plugs and everything, showing that he's really in the mood to breed. So let's get him out. How's it, my boy? You're just such fo so focused on breeding. So let's get him out in here with the female and then see just how this goes. So there's the male and over there is the female. She's already aware of his presence, but I don't know if he's aware of hers yet. Now their enclosures are right next to each other, so he should definitely be smelling that female. So let's just see how this goes. Now when you're introducing snakes upon breeding, you really want to pay attention to them for at least the first hour of the day and then periodically check on them just to make sure that your female doesn't actually end up chopping up on your male. Now I'm not too worried that she'll eat him because um, Western Diamondbacks are actually very much known for staying in communals. So like dens. I don't know if you guys ever heard of what they call a rattlesnake den which is where a bunch of rattlesnakes are just under the same space and look at the male, he's already twitching I don't know if you guys can see you see how he's twitching? oh man, I wish I could get a better angle on this but he's twitching, he's aware of that female he's aware of that female So both of them have definitely noticed each other now. Now just to see 
what happens. See those little white, ugh, focus, that over there inside the urates? That white is a sperm plug. So this male is definitely ready. I'm gonna look at him getting his scent distributed inside this entire enclosure, making his presence known. You getting there, boy? So let's see how this goes. The female does seem unfazed by him. First touch, nervous, 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 really nervous. They seem fine. They do seem fine. I guess it's just really a waiting game now with these. Oof, oof, that makes me nervous. Whew. A lot of nerve wracking moments. She still has a bunch of stuck shit in her, but she should shed that out now very soon. And he's just cruising around in this enclosure, having a ball. But yeah, he's definitely keen on breeding. It's just up to you, Mama. That's right, boy. Start coaxing that Bimo. A few moments later. All right, guys. So the female cascable is right there by the male. Both of them seem quite comfortable with each other. And I am quite happy to let them be for now. Um, oh, look at that female cascals. She's so alert. Hi. All right, so we'll leave them be. And then the Western Diamondbacks seem to be all right with each other as well. And then a quick update on all the pairings we've made. The corns are still doing fine. Do you believe I've got a confirmed lock with these guys already? Ugh, they chucked over the water bowl again. The Taiwanese are also doing fine. I don't know if I have a lock with them yet. And then the Hima Habus. As you guys have seen in the previous video, we have a confirmed lock with them already. So that's just amazing news. <laughs> Alright guys, so in any case, from Mahana Exotics, you guys know I love you, you guys know I appreciate all the support, and we're really growing video by video. So for all of you guys out there, liking, sharing, commenting, telling a friend, I really appreciate you guys, and if you guys are watching and you made it this far into the video, please subscribe if you're not subscribed, it really goes a long way. From Mahana Exotics, I love you guys, and peace out.